Alrighty guys, welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you one of my previous raids. They're all average. This one here, in particular this one. Now, don't make a base like this. It's just stupid. Seriously, this was base. Do not, and I repeat, do not put everything in the middle and just put a square around it. Don't do that. It's stupid. See, my wall break is already I'm inside. Now they've got no more compartments for me to attempt to break into, you know? So, you know, I just went to town now. To be honest, I just went to town. As you can see, you know, I took out that, uh, that mortar there with my lightning spells, just two of them. Let me just speed it up for you. Um, yeah, just look, just our, our obliteration. You know, you got that wizard's tower trying to do something, I mean, Honestly, it's just, it's stupid. I went to town, like, all of that. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my healers did go down, but look, everything is almost broken. I do not get 100%, unfortunately. It's actually right here that I fail a little bit there, because of that water. I just, I just didn't get to it in time, but look, look at that. Look, 300k. Elixir, 223k uh, gold, and 488 dark elixir for 9 trophies. Now, hey, I'm not complaining. The troops I used, as you can see, 8 giants, 7 um, bombs, I guess I call them, 41 barbarians, 57 archers, 2 healers, 40 goblins, and 2 arch, um, two lightning spells. I didn't use my rage because they weren't ready at this point. Um, but, yeah, horrible, that's just an example of a horrible lo lo loadout, um, so as you can see, uh, I'll give them out archers when they're done, but, um, currently, I will record this, I am making six dragons, as you can see, and I'm gonna do a six dragon, uh, six dragon raid, I think I have one or two healers, I'm not sure, I've, I think I'm a, I've only got, like, the one healer. I'm gonna have a ton of archers. We'll have 30. We'll have a ton of goblins. And I'm just gonna go this pure defensive raid. Um, and we're just gonna take out all that air. We're gonna do our best to take out that air. And I'm mainly, since I cannot use elixir for anything else now, I think I'm only mainly gonna look for gold. Because there's nothing I can use elixir on, only troops. That's why I'm doing the six dragon strategy piece. Everything else in my base is maxed. And as you, as you can see, 6k uh, dark elixir right there. Um, I'm happy about that one. But I do start to lose um, heavily if they do get to the elixir storage, as you can see, 227. 277, sorry. I do start to lose quite heavily. Whoa, that was a bit of a bug. But um, yeah, since I've got practically nothing left to uh, upgrade with elixir. I can just do an all out raid, whatever I want. I don't have to watch my elixir anymore. Um, gold though, as you can see, I've made a bit of progress on my wall. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna take some time. And also, it's got, you know, three, three days, four hours left on this barracks. Um, you know, I've got time. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try, I don't think I'm going to succeed, but I'm going to try and upgrade him, the Barbarian King. Um, I might even just buy gems and, like, spend, like, 100 gems maximum, absolute maximum on getting that Dark Elixir. But it will be difficult. If I can't get it, honestly, I'm not, I'm not fussed. But if I do get it, that'll be awesome. Town Hall 7 with a level 2 Barbarian King. You don't see that that often. You could see it, but anyway. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, that's just my opinion on bases. I mean, there were some really successful bases, and, you know, don't think my base is, you know, 100% awesome, the best base. Honestly, it's just an average base. My base is sort of... Uh, it's more of a defensive base, sort of a hybrid as well. Because, A, you've got the clan castle... Uh, not the clan, you've got the town hall in the middle, and then you've got all the storages semi in the middle and obviously the mortars and the wizard towers defending one side and one mortar defending the other. Anyway, this is my base. Also, generally when people do raid me, they attack me from this side here. They drop troops all where these things are here. 
um, and they just attack in and usually if it does get to attack me I put this right there so if you do raid me good luck that's where I put my giant bomb anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video I will be making more definitely I love this game so much and I'm fairly sure you guys if you were to play it you'd enjoy it depends what sort of games you like but anyway thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy